of the hood told everybody, you know what? Everybody humble yourselves for three days and go on a, fa on a fast. There, no, no dog ate in three days. No cat can eat. No cattle. No, nobody was eaten for three days. Everybody put on sackcloth and ashes, which is a sign of humility. And they humbled themselves and the people cried to God saying, please don't destroy us. This was the this was the gang that did this. And somebody tell me what God did. Why do y'all think God did not bring judgment on them? Somebody tell me. Because they hum repented and humbled themselves. And he extended grace to the fruit belt gang. Who killed and murdered babies. God is so attracted to humbleness. He will give grace if you humble yourself and say, I need you, God. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't know what I'm doing. He loves hum He loves humility. And because these people humbled themselves, Jonah got mad. Read chapter four. Jonah got mad because he was racist against these Ninevites. And Jonah was like, see, that's why I want to do it, because I knew you was going to give them a chance and, and, and keep them alive. It is right there in that Bible. So guess what came back in Jonah's heart? And then guess what Jonah did? The scripture says Jonah went up on the hill <laughs> and sat down and looked at, looked at Nineveh and was waiting for God to kill him. Jonah was like, see, I did what you told me to do. Now kill these folk. And when they didn't die, Jonah was mad. And God, just like he did with Adam and Eve, God comes back to him and said, Jonah, why are you so mad? And Jonah was like, because I just knew I, I knew you were you're a merciful God. Mind you all, just a couple of chapters later, he was in a fish. <laughs> you see how quick it is when, you know, that's how sneaky pride is. God will give you mercy, but don't let somebody else. Uh, you ready to condemn them to hell. And he just blessed you. You mean to tell me if God put on these screens what he protected us from? from that you did, we will all be shocked if we saw everything that you did. We'd be like, you still here? <laughs> he ain't kill you for that? Oh, but when somebody else do it, you ready to blast them on social media? I can't believe these church people fake. That's your pride talking. And just be aware because you may end up in a fish again. Just so he can love you. <laughs> Because he can't connect with you with pride in your heart. It's, an, it's hard. So if you want to know that it, it, in, the, in this thing with fear, this is the area we have to get to a place in our life where we start to say, you know what? I became too attracted to darkness because I opened up this pride door. The second thing that popped his head was I became too attracted to darkness. I love the things of the world. I love the thing that's dark. I love the things that's degrading. I love the things in it all because I let that fear come out of this pride. Now I am going to humble myself and come back to the light because I don't want to end up in fish's stomachs. I don't want to end up being thrown off, off ships. And this and the story don't end very good for Jonah. He's sitting over there and he is covered by a gorge or a tree. And the scripture said when he got prideful again, God allowed some something to eat up the tree that was covering him. You know, that that tree represented. It's funny about these trees. <laughs> he hiding behind a tree. Again. I just thought that. But what's so funny was he's sitting under this tree and the tree gave him shade because the sun was beaming. And when he was humble, the tree covered him. And when Jonah kept complaining, hmm, I can't believe you did this, God. God, let the tree die. I wonder if he's, he's been letting some trees die in our life. Man, I'm always struggling. Why nothing happening? Maybe there's some pride that's stopping this. So tonight, I just want us all to reflect that we got to shut this pride door. So the second thing that comes out of with the pride door open is fear. And fear will make us run from the presence of the Lord. It will make us run from the things of God. And when we do that, y'all, I'm just telling you right now, it's going to seem it seemed OK. Jonah thought he was OK for a season. He was under the ship. He thought I was he was sleeping. He was cool. He was thinking, I'm good. I ran away from God. I don't got to live saved. 
I don't got to worry. And then all, and then when that storm hit. God, he is. I'm telling you, God loves you so much. He would he will send storms not to kill you. It's to get the pride out. He'll let you get scammed, not because he want to hurt you. It's to get the pride out. He'll let that he'll let that young lady break your heart, not because he wants your heart broken. It's just to get the pride out. Because when we get humble enough to say. I thought she was good for me. But I guess I don't know what I'm doing. That's a that sounds like a humble person admitting that they ain't God. <laughs> and God says, now I can bless you. Let me give you who I had for you. And it'll blow your mind. Lord, I hope. It will blow your mind. So I just want to leave you guys with that. In a minute, we're going to be worshiping tonight. And when we worship tonight, I'm just going to encourage. I, I'm using the word encourage because I can't make you do what you don't want to do. But I am going to really encourage you to give the Holy Spirit an opportunity to really cleanse your heart and to really check. I, I don't know about y'all, but I every day I have been asking God, Lord, please cleanse my heart from any pride. I am. I don't want none of it. It is no it's it's dead weight. You're competing with people. You're trying to out beautify somebody. What is it's not worth it. I'm telling you, you will be stressed. Just be who God made you to be. Walk in your calling. Love. I mean, just let the Holy Spirit take. I'm telling you, you will be the happiest person in the world. If you did it.